contractors associated with several departments gathered in front of Chief Secretary's office in illegally occupied Gilgit, Baltistan to protest against Islamabad for the cuts made into budget outlay for the region. Contractors claim the new budget will impact them so hard that they won't be able to pay salaries to their employees. Contractors who are involved in the development work of the region are also a victim of this vicious decision of Islamabad as they are not receiving their payments. At present, they are demonstrating in few numbers, but they have threatened to increase the intensity if their payments are not issued. इंशाअल्लाह वो ताला कल हम अपनी मशीनरी लेबर अपने बच्चों को लेके पूरे गिलगित को जाम कर लेंगे। from the previous allocation of Rs 47 billion, this time the development budget has almost been cut by 50%, reducing it to mere Rs 23 billion. Some say it is the result of the murky political battles between the incumbent authorities in Islamabad, who are led by Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz and the government of illegally occupied Gilgit Baltistan that is led by the ousted Prime Minister Imran Khan's party PTI. But no matter what the actual reason is, it is taking a toll on the people of the region as they are finding it hard to make their ends meet. ग्रांट के तौर पे चलाने वाले एरिये को 50 परसेंट जो है वो उसके बजट के ऊपर कट लगा दिया गया। यहाँ जो भी वज़ेराला हो, यहाँ जो भी हुकूमत हो, एक किस्म का बैंक का अमला है, उनके एक्टियारात इतने हैं फाइनेंशियली। बाकी देगर एक्टियारात इक्वल तो तमाम सुबह ज़रूर होंगे, लेकिन माशी नहीं ले सकते हैं जब तक वहाँ से पैसा नहीं आएगा तब तक जो है यहाँ हमारे चेक जो है वो बोस होंगे। Many people are of the opinion that this huge deduction in the budget outlay for people of Gilgit Baltistan comes in line with Pakistan's systematic discrimination towards the people of the region. While they say they have come to terms with Pakistan's decades-long discriminatory attitude towards them, any further decline in the situation is only going to push them towards doom.